welcome back we will focus on drop downs in this lecture yeah so first of all drop downs are two different kinds one is to select an option from static options okay so this is called static drop down because options in the drop down are fixed but this is a dynamic drop down you will get options based upon your inputs now if i type i n d india then this is how it populates to me so basically based upon your inputs your suggestions will display here but in this we have to just select from the options displayed so we call these kind of drop downs as dynamic and the and fixed option dynamic options are called static drop downs so i will show how to handle both static and dynamic drop downs using cypress nice so firstly let's start with static drop down if it is static by default tag name will be the select okay so select will be the tag name for any static drop down and it's a html rule so keeping that in mind let's build the test now static drop down So cy dot first of all we have to grab an object of it so obviously select tag is a unique one because there is only one drop down here so you can simply pass select which will highlight that okay cross check if you want perfect you see that it's highlighting now if it is select drop down then cypress exposes and method called select again okay so in this method you need to simply pass either your option name or the value attribute of that option okay so in general value attribute and option name will be same but again it's up to you that whatever you can select let's say you want to click on option 2 you can simply pass either your option to text or value attribute of that both are option 2 only but here you can see that o is small letter when you want to go with option okay so let's stick to this value attribute using this you can select any option now if i say in the select argument okay if i give the option 2 it will scan all the options and it will try to match for which option it have value as option 2 for this and it will select it automatically like this okay it's so simple as this so you can select any option by simply passing the argument in the select method and how cool it is in selenium you have another api called select api to do these kind of activities but in cypress it is pretty straight forward just use select method and pass the argument of your value okay so this step will help you to select an option after execution of this step your ui looks like this with a selected option of option 2 okay now we were actually on this right here so now we have to verify whether option 2 is selected or not how do you verify again value attribute should be option 2 now after selection so it's simple right dot should when i say validate then assertion that only thing you should come in your mind and here we are verifying the property so it should be have have dot value and so we were just checking whether the option 2 is selected or not so basically if you select option 1 then value attribute of this drop down will be option 1 whatever you select it should change back to that value so this first part is to select the option in drop down and second part is to compare and check whether the option is successfully selected from the drop down or not that's it 
this part is for assertion and this part is for actual automating option nice and this part is to identify the drop down first before you perform an action of select all right save the project and that's it okay so it's trying to select checkboxes done and you see that it have successfully selected option 2 from the drop down and your assertion is also passed so that's it it's so simple and now you can handle any static drop downs in the world using cypress okay it's easy right if you just look at this as one plain english language that get and check if it is should not be checked should be checked should have value and it's easy to learn okay so next again i i don't i don't want to repeat this for another option it's obvious that if you put option 1 here it will break because you are selected option 2 and verifying that which option is selected and obviously it's not option 2 and these are like test cases in general you see that it's still trying to find option 1 and it got failed saying that and look at the error it's saying i am expecting option 1 from my code but the value whatever present on the screen is option 2 okay the error clearly describes where exactly things went wrong and this will really help us to debug and fix the issues very quick okay and you see that when i select type equals to checkbox they were clearly telling that total three matched elements found and if they are in visible mode you will see another icon which i have shown in the previous lecture okay right this is how you handle static and now let us see how we can handle dynamic drop downs in our next lecture thank you